If you drove through Midtown today, you could probably still smell that smoke from that massive fire that destroyed an apartment complex. The fire started at the uh, Peachtree Walk Apartments and damaged a number of businesses on 12th Street. Now, the firefighters were able to knock it down with the help of some a drone pilot who helped them identify those hot spots. 11 Alliance Caitlin Ross spoke to that pilot today about how he's trying to get help through the Atlanta Police Department, some much needed help in a story you'll only see on 11 Alive tonight. Fire investigators are back on scene assessing the damage. And again, Fess Burgess was here to help. Taking off. Fess Burgess started flying drones three years ago. A lot of practice, a few crashes, <laughs> a lot of risk. It's risky. He was flying in Midtown with some friends last night when they heard how fast the fire was spreading. He thought he could help. It has thermal capabilities, so it can actually show the hot spots. It can show, you know, what's hot and what's not. He says firefighters on the scene welcomed the assistance of his drone to get up over the flames. The model he flies is high end and costs more than $15,000. The department only has one drone and it wasn't on scene. Yeah, I think this uh, type of equipment is necessary, especially for fire and rescue. He says getting that bird's eye view helps keep firefighters on the ground safe. The way the fire was burning and the way these streets are designed, it was hard for them to pinpoint and actually see you know, which areas were flaming and which areas wasn't or where it was spreading. Fire investigators were back out on the scene Tuesday and asked Burgess to fly back up over it. And give them a, a bird's eye view of what's going on. He thinks every fire crew should have a drone on every major fire scene. You know, if we can help save a life and keep a firefighter safe, then that's worth more than money. That, you know, that's priceless to me. He thinks it's so critical that firefighters have this technology. He's actually working to raise money to get the city seven drones to use for their firefighters by January 1st. He says he's already raised the money to donate four. Reporting in Atlanta, Caitlin Ross, 11 Alive News.